What's up guys, welcome back, Kassadin against Anivia. This used to be a very good matchup for Kassadin, but they turned that completely around when they reworked Anivia, so she no longer has high cooldown on that ultimate. Previously what you could do is that whenever she used that ultimate, you just use Q to cancel it out, and that way you can like go in and punish her, but if you do that now, her ultimate is going to be back up. Like you're just gonna get completely destroyed in the lane. And also later on in the game is still going to be difficult until you get level 6. No, not level 6, level 16. So a good matchup turned into a bad one. And then she can also go Aero Frost. If she wants to. Luckily she does not have Electrocute. I think I hate playing against that more than I can Comet. It's also an Nivea one trick. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, that damage. You can you can just not walk up like in a straight line because that Q hitbox is pretty insane. So if you get hit by that Q, you're gonna tank one E, like in power D because you get stunned. And then you'll probably also take like two or three auto attacks, and that's a lot of damage early on. So we just stay back and give up all the farm, honestly. Even under the tower, you might have to give up stuff because her auto attack range is pretty insane too. Okay, I did not get the minion, but the shield blocked it out. First blood. Well, let's say Wukong, that's going to snowball. Maybe. Stop pinging, bro. Just give it up, man. You don't have your jungler. What are you going to defend by yourself? You guys die bot lane, so just give it up. I had a feeling she was trying to do this, but I had to get the cannon. I had CP, so it's okay. And I also have biscuits. Should help out a little bit in the early, early game. Why did Kha'Zix not go into his jungle? Or maybe Wukong already did it. Yeah, he probably did it. Yeah, it is bot lane that dies, so it's their fault. He has Ignite, so he cannot stay in lane for too long when we're low HP. Right now we are getting pretty low, but she does not have Electrocute. So we will just go ahead and back off here. So we can get the tier as well. It is Ignite and Nivea, so we have to respect that. You can, like, Doran's shield is so good into a Nivea because she pokes a lot early on with auto attacks. Insane amount. So you can go for the fillable if you want to, but it's very greedy. And if you're playing against a good Nivea, you'll not be able to farm. I uh, see, this guy is just perma poking, but now he has the chance to. It just sucks that they made it so this champion has almost no cooldown on her ultimate. So just AFK shoves and then even if you play it really well and you use your Q to cancel out her ultimate because it's a channeling ability, it doesn't matter because it's going to be up again. That's the first time I procced my keystone. So oh, if Kha'Zix can get the uh, passive away. Yes, yeah, bought it. Bought it. Like even if you time it well, it doesn't matter. Her ultimate is going to be back up again. And that is not something you want to be caught inside before level 16 and before you have Sonya Sourglass. Like those items are absolutely crucial in order to um, be able to deal with Anivia. See if I can stack up this wave and then crash it. Missed that one, that's actually huge. Now she, she just does this. 
Look at how good her wake player is at level 6. She doesn't even have one finished item yet. Is that something Cassidy can deal with? Absolutely not. So she's gonna keep shoving in, right? And then she just perma pokes with auto attack. So we're gonna take a lot of damage. But it leaves a chance for our jungler to gank. Now if he decides to never gank, then it's going to be very hard early on. Got a plate already. Also need some good vision around. They had the Wukong. Just keeps doing this. But the ultimate is gonna be back up again, just see. So be careful dashing forward. Avoid doing that if a Q is up. Otherwise, even if you cancel the ultimate, he's gonna wall you and then make you stuck inside the ult. That's be really good at farming right now. We are pretty much even, so that's a huge win. Also, because we get boots for free, she might have the free boots as well. We have first strike as well. They're doing the Drake, are they not? Should be guaranteed. Okay, cool. Got the Drake. It's a normal wave here. And the Kong is topside. Gonna get all the farm here still. Because he recalled early. But I can use this chance to reset. It's a cannon wave too. I'm not gonna buy control ward right now. Because it's gonna take up spot. I can still use the biscuits but... Also we have this one. So we will be forced to sit with that control ward for a while. A good time to reset for me because it's a cannon wave so this cannon is gonna tank a lot of damage. I can... Oh, she's done. I want to make sure the Kha'Zix does not die. Nice. Good job, bro. Oh, that vein. What? That vein. Did she just auto attack minion? I think that's auto attack click. That hits the nearby. It's the closest target. So she ended up auto attacking the minion or something instead. Flash down and pass her down too. Huge. Tank Nidalee. Well, well. That's been a long time since I've seen that. Bruiser Nidalee, I think. I don't think it's Tank, but it could be the Bruiser. Divine Sondra. Like Cleaver and stuff like that. There is farming well despite. Then I'm being on a bit of a speedrunning mission. Ultimate still has to high up cooldown for us to be spamming it on top of her. I can um, TP to our tower bot if they try to dive. Yeah, that blocks some of the damage. I do have TP, so I don't mind. Just want enough gold for the crown. I need to hit bot. I think I never will be moving to as well. They're dead. An ally has been slain. Why are they trying to fight? That's a good bot lane. Or rather support, I would say. Nice, dodged it. That's huge. If you don't dodge that Q, you're gonna tank so much damage. 
Now we have the crown and we also have the boots. It's going to be a bit easier from now on. Luckily, she did not decide to wall me right here when I recall. There's no flash on this guy. He might be moving. Yes. They're losing it though. Oh man. Well, we have a GP, so we have good team fighting. We have the team fighting. For the AoE damage. But they have a vein that's very fat right now, too. And then they have Wukong and Anivia. They have three champs for team fighting. We have just me and the Gangplank. Because we are so squishy, we don't have frontline. That's our main issue. All of us are playing carries. So that's like a classic solo queue comp. Everybody playing carries. Perfect. I knew she was going to return. So I intentionally used the ultimate, even though it would normally be bad. Because then she starts trading back, right? And tries to lock me up inside. Can you not fight bot lane? Why are they fighting? Your shield bow doesn't help against spike goals. Why are they fighting? I don't get it. You guys got clapped already. Just let me, Kha'Zix and the uh, Gangplank. Not Gangplank, me and the Kha'Zix. We can carry this. The Kong is coming. Nice. I need one plate. Got two plates, nice. Wukong could be waiting. I don't say I use my... Oh, shield did not go down, huge. Bro, look at that. Crown. Impact. Nice. Wukong wanted to kill me, so I just wait a little bit. I try to make sure that I get the kill. Like, if it's a guaranteed kill, then I try to take it all the time. If it's like a high risk one, where I end up dying and griefing the game, then I don't. But otherwise, I really try to make sure I actually get the kill. They have, they don't have full AD, so that is squishy. Yeah, they sure. We'll go this. It's not very often I get these socks because usually they have a somewhat tanky team. They have tanky top and jungle, but AD carry, support, and mid. Those are the ones I will be focusing. It takes a while for the while for the vein to get good scent as well. Flash down on Nimia, so you just need to abuse that honestly. Coming in case she escapes, she doesn't. Nice. And me and the Kha'Zix has to carry this. Dog shoe stiff. I want to help them bot, but I'm gonna lose the tower if that if I go whatever, let's go, Wukong is here. What does Fane have? She has the shield bow. Oh, that's a ward. I took out the ward and had to let them know it was warded as well. Play the tower. Oh, a cannon. No, oh, minion, please. It's saved for now. It's not the first tower, so... It's okay. Looks like Pike is headed mid. You guys have to get out. Yeah, no. 
It's okay if he roams mid now. I would prefer that so my bot lane can farm. Okay, I'm just gonna not insta push it so she loses mana. Now she has a recall, so I can push this out and get some damage off on the tower. I'm gonna cancel it once. Okay, let's watch out for the Wukong, which, uh, who is missing. If she's staying, he might be here. Just quickly checked if the passer was up. It was not, then I just went for the flash. She is toast. The Kong is mid. I'm gonna use that chance to get some wards down in their jungle. Pop this one as well, so it looks like I'm going to roam, even though I'm not. So that forces their bot lane to back off. Just TP just in case if it goes wrong. Bro, perfect TP. I got a huge shutdown, 600 gold. I'm gonna lose the tower mid, but that's a huge shutdown. I'm just gonna leave them with the tower gold. Cause I got what I needed. I'm losing tower mid, but I don't care, man. I got exactly what I needed with that teleport. Plus two second cooldown. Now it's fine to like jump in. And I cut you as easily anymore. Brown OP. It's fine. Yeah, she, she might have the egg up. Whoops! I did not want to use the control ward. I can go bot. Well, I cannot kill the Vayne. Give it to Sari. Give it to Sari. Oh my god, no. Why? Why did you take that? Bro, that's sent. Kang should be here at the walls. I have the stopwatch. I can bait the pike. That's why I just did not insta get out. So they burnt? What? Vein salt? They could be waiting here, so I need to wait on. Now I don't have any stacks on. The ults, so I can get a get away without running out of mana. He has the Gintus now. Huge. Absolutely huge. Just respect the damage. Like, we can actually kite them pretty well with the Senna later on. Because she has a slow on the Q, like the W2. They just have to be careful they don't get caught with the enemy wall. I'm farming up pretty well, almost 10 CS per minute. These are the game sweats, especially important that I manage to farm up well. Bike should be here soon. Probably the vein too. He's here. Probably going for Seri now. Pretty obvious sometimes what they will be trying to do. 
just by looking at the state of the minions and also where people are on the map like the others I need somebody to push out the bot side wave. Bane is coming in, but that's a... That's a ward here as well. So I just wait for them to uh, show it out. I'm sitting on 900 gold, by the way. And not be inting it. So I think I just let it push all the way up here, otherwise they could be trying to flank around this way. Get out. I cannot stay anymore. Get them mid. Classics. Watch out, bro. Oh no. Did not have to do that. Oh wow, okay. That's a lot of damage. They got back. I want to show this out. So they cannot... Push and take our base. They're probably going for Baron now, but Wukong is low. Okay, no Baron. Bane is not there. They're going for the wave mid. But yes, second item. He's gonna escape. But I'm not gonna all oh, okay now I can. Kha'Zix also went for it, so let's go. Oh if that one hit then no I went for it, but let's go Drake. It's safe for and I can I can CP and I'd CP, just wait for me please. Look at how much gold I'm sitting on. I, I should probably buy Void at this point, because it looks like Vayne is going for um, Witsen. Go for the enemy, yeah. Has to get out, hang on. Oh rip, it's okay, we got the rake. Oh that looks like that was a huge Oh man he failed two barrels. Rip. It's hard landing them though. Yeah, I have a pretty big bounty, so I don't want to like go for a very risky place. Yeah, that's really worth it, huh? Sacrificing your HP for that? I'm getting a wave bot. You just have to not die, because then that's the Baron. My last item, after I get this full, then I sell the boots and get Frozen Heart. Good against the Vayne, the Wukong, and the Nidalee too, because she's going Rusa. It hasn't done anything yet. It's just annoying, honestly, in the lane, but GP is pretty good. Like the champion is such a good blind pick that it's really hard to punish, even with something like a Bruce on Italy. Can I take this? Take this one then. Oh bro, come on. Could be coming up here. I guess bot side. Should I try to force a fight, so I can like bait them in? Pike should be coming this way here. I'm just trying to make it not obvious that we are doing the Baron. How low is it? Nice bro. Huge. Pike is around, so I'm not gonna in. I saw him at the river. And I got 16. GG's. Yeah, I probably need to get the wit sent. Oh, uh, white stuff, I mean, because she has the witch hand.
So also MR up here and Wukong getting this stance and probably into what's it called Demov. Go in the vein here. She's not alone for sure, but I might try to flank the GP, so I'll just wait around. Let's go, I'm down, I'm down. Main is bot side. Ouch. Polos combo. Main should be coming this way here, should we block off? Already made it. And we have... The perma slow with the evolved W from Kha'Zix. Like, it's so good in teamfight, the Kha'Zix W evolution. Because, like, he just stays in the sides and perma W, so slow them, so I can go in and out, cancel them. We took out Anivia. Because I went in from an angle they did not expect me to do so. But I still do it. One fifty, and we have the white stuff. Should have it by the time break spawns. He's up there. He's camming probably. He could be camming. Cause it's warded. Now I got it. The white, uh, white stuff. Magic pen for the wit sand and probably more coming up soon and then this side them. So I can go for the Anivia. Need to make sure it's not watered around here, which it probably is. Gonna come this way. There she is. I'm out. Yarka 6, I'm coming in. I need to hit Vayne with a fully stacked ult. He does not have ult any longer. Okay, need to make sure that... Our support does not go down to the vein. Um, it's the soul. Hello, it's the soul, bro. I don't think we cannot end. We're just taking... We can also take the inhibitor and then go soul, but they have to not mess it up. I don't know what they're doing. Not sure. But he's going for it now and it's guaranteed. I could have went in on the vein right there. But it was risky compared to saving Senna from getting pike ulted. And because we took out the Anibia. And that they were in a 4 versus 5. I could really use 300 gold. I just take this wave here. Okay, Vayne is going bot side. I'm just gonna hold it because I really see PA missing that one. Right, showtime, and then I'm gonna. S yeah, he's getting more or less expected. In death cap, and then when I have enough gold to straight up buy frozen heart in one go, I will do it. Going down attack speed for the vein. He has true damage, so armor doesn't do much. And slowing down attack speed for the others, and the armor against him will do a lot. Have to keep in mind what they actually have up. We can go bot. Could be camping in here, the pike.
This could also be warded. Look at that slow man. Oh bro, you just hit one of them? See ya. See ya. Nothing for you to do. Not even that exhaust is gonna help. They're on 18 cast and full build. Did not die once. Oh, Kha'Zix. That. But GG's man. Me and the Kha'Zix played that pretty well, I think. So he's getting the honor for sure.